Hi, welcome back to the full stack development with Angular and Spring MVC. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created a model class. In this video, we'll create our DAO class. Before that, let's verify whether the hibernate is creating a table for us or not. I'm going to run the application now. Before that, let me close all the files. Right click on the project, choose run as. First, let's clean the project. I'm going to select Maven clean. Let me expand the console that you can see. Build success, right click on the project, run as Maven build. I'll set the goals as package, click run. The project is getting built. You can see that the build is success and refresh the project. Inside the target folder, you can see the war file which is book API war file. Now right click on the project and choose run as run on server. Click next, click finish. In the console, you can see the message that the table is creating because in the property file, we set the show SQL is equal to true so that we can see that the table is creating in the console. Creating a book table which is ID, author, title. All right, let me close this. Go to the MySQL database and refresh. You can see the table has been created with the name book. And if you expand the table, click on the columns, you can see there are three columns are there, ID, author, title. If you click on this ID, you can see it's an auto increment and it's a primary key, which means the Hibernate is creating a table for us. Let me clear the console. Now let's create a DAO class and the interface for our application. Let me minimize this. I'll open the Java resources and inside the DAO package, I'm going to create interface. I'm going to call this book DAO. Click finish. I'll write some comments, save the record, long save. To this method, we will pass a book object. Let me import the book, which is from bushansirgu.spring.model. And the second method is for get a single record. book get we will pass an id to this method and the third method get all the records this will return a list which is of type book i'm going to call this list let me import list which is from java.util and the fourth method, update the record. I'm going to call this update. To this, we will pass an ID and a book object. And the last method is delete a record. I'm going to call this delete and to this method we will pass an id of the book. Alright, we have created an interface for our DAO. Now let's create a class inside the DAO package. I'm going to create a class. I'm going to call this book DAO implementation. Click finish. I'm going to implement book DAO which we have created just now. I'm going to implement all the methods. Just to test the application, first let's write a code for least method. Up above, I'm going to create a session factory object, private session factory
I'm going to call this session factory. I'm not going to create an object for this. I'll tell spring container to create an object for session factory. So I will auto wire this at auto wire inside the list method. I will make use of session factory session factory dot get the current session dot create a query within the double quotes I'll write a HQL query from book and this will give us a list I'm gonna call list method and this will return list of books which are available in the database and import the list I'm gonna call this list and finally we're going to return the list back to the service method all right we have written a code for list method in the next video we're going to create a service interface and the service implementation class and we're going to call this list method from the service class and we will hand over it to controller that is coming up in the next video i'm going to stop the server before that and i'll save this file that's it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video